Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. So the OnePlus 8 Pro has just been announced and look at this beauty, very nice color on it. But I wanted to do a camera comparison between this phone and the iPhone 11 Pro. So the OnePlus 8 Pro has a starting price point of $899 and the iPhone 11 Pro starts at $999. So with OnePlus creeping up in the price point, I just wanted to test out the cameras, front and back, video capabilities, photos, all of that good stuff in this video. So let's jump into it. Okay, so first let me hit you with some specs. So on the back of the iPhone 11 Pro is pretty easy because all three cameras come in at 12 megapixels. And on the OnePlus 8 Pro, the wide and the ultra wide cameras come in at 48 megapixels and the telephoto camera comes in at eight megapixels. And the OnePlus 8 Pro does have an extra camera on the back and this is called their color filter camera. And this adds filters to your photos. And I did find that they were a little bit more refined than your traditional filters that you find built into software. So, I mean, I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but it has it. But now let's get to what you want to see. So this first set of photos include photos that were taken with the main wide angle camera. And on the right hand side with the iPhone 11 Pro, this is exactly how it looked when I was taking the photos because I was underneath that tree and it was pretty dark. It was shady underneath and the iPhone represented exactly what I was looking at. But on the OnePlus 8 Pro, I like how it lifted those shadows up and really allowed my subject, which was the flowers, to be more noticeable, to really stand out more. And then also something I noticed with all of the photos taken with the wide angle cameras is that on the OnePlus 8 Pro, it really has a nice depth of field to the photos just naturally without using something like portrait mode. And with the iPhone 11 Pro, you really don't see that. It really kind of saves the blurry background for portrait mode. So for this situation, I like what the OnePlus did here. All right, and so now moving over to the ultra wide camera. So on the OnePlus 8 Pro, something to note is that even though both the wide and the ultra wide cameras are 48 megapixels, they default to 12 megapixels. So they still are using all of that goodness, but by default, you will get a 12 megapixel photo unless you select 48 megapixels in the software. But now looking at these two 12 megapixel photos, I want you to pay attention to the color temperature difference. So on the iPhone 11 Pro, you see that the color temperature is a little cooler in this particular situation. So it's kind of trending towards the blue side of things, where on the OnePlus 8 Pro, the color temperature is warmer, so it's trending towards the orange side of things. But when I switch over to the 48 megapixel mode for the ultra wide camera on the OnePlus 8 Pro, you see now that color temperature has changed from warm to cool. So it closely kind of matches with the iPhone in this particular situation. And as I zoom in here, you can actually see that it's a little bit cooler than what the iPhone is putting out right now. And with my naked eye, I don't see a big jump in difference between the 48 megapixels versus the 12 megapixels here like I did see when I did look at photos comparing the iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra because that Samsung has a 108 megapixel camera so you really did see a difference when you punched in but in this situation it's not really as relevant. All right, so we have another set of photos taken with the ultra wide cameras. And first, let me say whoever drew this did a great job. Um, but besides the color temperature difference, and you can just pay attention to that yourself, um, the one thing I want you to see is that on the right side of the building where the sun is kind of creeping behind the building a little bit, you see the iPhone 11 Pro just handled that glare a lot better than what the OnePlus 8 Pro did. Now, before I left this location, I thought it would be a good time to test out the telephoto cameras. And quality wise, I like both of them, but the main difference that I was looking at here it's just that difference in zoom because on the OnePlus 8 Pro, it is zooming in three times versus the two times on the iPhone 11 Pro. And so honestly, neither company is wrong with the zoom level that they chose here because depending on your situation, you may like having three times zoom. And like for this one, I like having two times zoom so I can have the entire face of that animal in the shot, but that's gonna vary depending on the shot that you're trying to take. Okay, so this next camera feature isn't on every smartphone because it's not even on the iPhone 11 Pro, but this is a macro mode. And so this is it running on the OnePlus 8 Pro. And macro mode isn't just used for trying to take pictures of small things like ants and things like that, but it works well for trying to get this sticker in focus. And it was really windy this day, but it did a pretty good job. But you can see when I'm trying to do the same thing with the iPhone 11 Pro, it just doesn't allow me to get as close and keep a a, an image that's gonna be really in focus and actually usable. So it's gonna be really blurry compared to the one coming from the OnePlus 8 Pro. And it's a, it, you know, it's a feature that most people don't use all the time, but just having a macro mode available when you need it, it's just one other tool that you can have at your disposal. And next up is going to be portrait mode. But before I show you those pictures, I just wanted to take another look at how the wide angle cameras or just the main cameras from these phones handle that background blur. And you can see on the OnePlus 8 Pro, it's a really nice creamy blur back 
there. But when you look at the iPhone's picture, it does have a nice blur to it, but it's not as deep as it is on the 8 Pro. But now switching over to the dedicated portrait mode on both of these phones, starting with the OnePlus 8 Pro, you can see that I like the way it looks, but I was expecting a little bit more of a, a an intense blur to it because it's not as intense as it is on the regular wide angle lens, but it does do a better job than what the iPhone 11 Pro did here in this particular situation because you can see that the iPhone has an issue with um, object detection. And so this has happened to me in the past with other iPhones. Like for example, this picture I took with the iPhone XS and you can see that it just went into overdrive and cut out that rock, but that's not really what I was going for. I actually do like the way it looks a little bit, but that's not what I wanted. And that's the same thing here with this flower. And so this has been a weak point for the portrait mode on iPhones for a little while now where they're just really prioritizing faces and not really focusing on objects where other companies like OnePlus and Google are really putting attention to taking uh, photos of animals and objects as well. And here's one more set of photos using both of the rear facing cameras for portrait mode. And I am really happy with both of these photos. They look very similar, but when you do punch in, you do see on the iPhone 11 Pro um, under my left ear there, the edge detection ran into a little issues. Whereas on the OnePlus 8 Pro, I'm cut out pretty nicely there. And now for our last set of photos, let's take a look at the dedicated night modes on these phones. So these are the before pictures and now here are the after pictures. So it does look like the OnePlus did a slightly better job at uncovering things that were in the darkness, but I really like the look of the iPhone's picture. And something else you should know is that with the OnePlus 8 Pro, you can also take these night mode or they call it nightscape pictures with the ultra wide camera as well. And that's enough with the rear facing cameras. Now let's switch over to portrait mode using the front facing cameras. Okay, so I have both pictures pulled up here. And the first thing that I did notice is just how each one handles the highlights. So let me punch in and go a little bit more on the OnePlus 8 Pro there. And you can see around my nose that the highlights just are blown out on the one from the OnePlus where the iPhone did a great job at just handling everything, kind of smoothing everything out. And then as I punch back out here, um, you can see that the shadows are lifted a little bit more from the picture from the iPhone. Uh, and then also too, the highlights come into play when you look at the white paint on the background and on the 8 Pro, you can see that it is blown out there as well. So look, I like both pictures, but I think the iPhone takes this one. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we are done with the photos. Now it's just about the video. And I wanted to start off with a blind video test. So here is video one, and I'm not gonna tell you which one is which until a couple of seconds later here, but um, you can see that I'm really liking the quality from this one. But as we switch over to video two, um, this one does produce a really good image as well. And I think if you have been paying attention to some of my other uh, smartphone comparisons with the iPhone included, you may be able to tell which one is which just by the color profile, but both of them are producing some really good video here, but now it's time to see which one is which. So which one do you think is which? All right, so video number one is going to be the OnePlus 8 Pro. And of course, video number two is going to be the iPhone 11 Pro. So a couple of things that I did notice is that just like with the photos, the iPhone did a better job with the HDR, um, handling some of the highlights and things like that. Um, but I love, love the color coming from the OnePlus 8 Pro. It's reds and the yellows from the flowers are really popping off on the screen here. It is very vibrant. Um, but the iPhone 11 Pro has a very nice, consistent image, especially when it comes to the autofocusing where it jumped a couple of times on the OnePlus 8 Pro. And also dealing with the auto focus, you can see here that the OnePlus just really couldn't lock on to this flower where the iPhone does a great job at locking onto this flower. And then as I move the phones around, it still does a good job transitioning from one subject to another. And for this video sample, just looking at the deepness and the blacks and also to the, the colors really pop off on the iPhone 11 Pro's video um, versus the video coming from the OnePlus 8 Pro, which still looks good. And then also as I focus on the food, the OnePlus 8 Pro's is a little out of focus where the iPhone nailed it. And real quick, I just wanted to throw in some video using the ultra wide cameras on these phones. And the same thing with the photos, you can see that the OnePlus 8 Pro really brings up the details and that sign by lifting some of those shadows. Um, but the iPhone 11 Pro did a great job at handling that sun that's behind the sign and not having things be too blown out. 
Now, this is the new 4K Cine mode that's built into the OnePlus 8 Pro's camera software. Now, this particular type of format where it makes it more widescreen, it's not going to be anything unique to the OnePlus 8 Pro. You can download other apps from the iOS App Store to give you the same type of look, but I like the fact that this is built into the camera app that makes it really easy to use. And you can see the big difference that it makes to the video where it's more cinematic. And I really love the color profile that it has here with that video versus the one coming from the iPhone 11 Pro. And so if you are looking to get this specific look for your videos, it's just really easy to switch over to it using the OnePlus 8 Pro. And now looking at these slow motion capabilities, both of these phones can record at 1080p and 240 frames per second, but the OnePlus 8 Pro does one up the iPhone because it can also record at 480 frames per second at 720p. So there is a little downgrade in quality, but that extra slow motion goodness that you can get um, is something that I like to play around with. And as you can see, your boy is still nice with that rifle, getting some of that drill and ceremony in, but I actually jacked up my hand while recording this, so I'm not as nice as I used to be, but shout out to all of the uh, ROTC cadets out there putting in that work. Okay, so now let's talk about the front-facing camera. So the first difference is going to be that the iPhone can record up to 4K at 60 frames per second, and the OnePlus 8 Pro can only go up to 1080p at 30 frames per second with this front-facing camera. And then also pay attention to the microphone quality. So I'm speaking to you right now on the iPhone 11 Pro, but I'm about to switch over to the OnePlus 8 Pro now. Okay, so now I'm on the OnePlus 8 Pro. So the first thing I noticed is that when I was setting up these phones, um, I did a tap to focus on each one of them, and I think the iPhone, I didn't actually have to do the autofocus or auto exposure lock. I just tapped the focus and it kind of kept me looking really good. But on the OnePlus 8 Pro, I did the tap to focus, but when I moved into position here, um, it started going a little out of whack. I did find myself having to lock in the exposure and autofocus, which isn't a big deal, but in the grand scheme of things of setting up, it was a little easier on the iPhone. And also I find the iPhone's picture quality to just to be a little bit better for my liking. And now I'm back over to the iPhone. So I think with the higher resolution, the higher frame rate, and also being able to still do slow motion, I think the front facing camera on the iPhone takes it in this category. Okay, so look, that's everything, but I'm not gonna make this outro really long. So let's get straight to the point. If I needed a smartphone to take video on, I would reach for my iPhone 11 Pro at this time. But if I accidentally picked up the OnePlus 8 Pro, I would still be happy with that and have no issues unless I was trying to record a lot with the front facing camera. And that's where the iPhone really shines over that OnePlus 8 Pro. And then when it comes to the photos, I mean, I have to be honest with you, OnePlus has stepped it up to the point where really each phone has advantages over the other in certain categories. So if you're really watching this video to see if the OnePlus 8 Pro can go against something like the iPhone 11 Pro, which for a lot of people is the standard when it comes to smartphone cameras, you can see that it definitely can. And now with all of this being said, now the choice is yours. So leave your comment down below and let me know which one you like the most. And also make sure you do subscribe, hit that notification bell. And like always, I do want to thank you for watching this video and I will catch you later. Peace.